Hi, second graders. Happy Friday and welcome back to reading. Today, for your assignment, you guys are going to be, as always, reading a book. Not just any book, though. You need to make sure it is nonfiction. That means it is telling you something true, true facts, either about people, places, or things. Sometimes animals, too. Okay? So it's a book that's telling you real life facts that are true. Okay? I picked the book about Serena Williams. So this is called Serena Williams. And as I read, I'm going to learn about her. So it says, Serena. This is Serena Williams. She is famous. She plays tennis. She hits the ball hard. It flies fast. She wins matches. What does she win? Trophies. She wins many titles. Then it shows the trophies. She practices. She works hard. This is her sister, Venus. She plays too. So you see her pointing to Venus. Sometimes they play together. It's called doubles. So you see Serena and her sister, Venus. Serena loves to help. She visits kids who are sick. Serena wants kids to learn. She helps them learn tennis, too. These are some of her fans. They love her. You can see her giving autographs to people. Serena is a true winner. And then it says some key events here. Um, so she was born September 26, 1981. Serena uh, Jamaica Williams is born in Michigan on July 8, 2000. Or, I'm sorry, October 1995, Serena travels to Canada to compete in her first professional tennis match, the Bell Challenge. On July 8th, 2002, Serena ranks number one in singles tennis for the first time. November 14th, 2008, the Serena Williams Secondary School opens in Kenya. She opens another school in Kenya in 2010. Interesting. July 9th, 2016, Serena and Venus win the Wimbledon Champions Championships in women's doubles. This is their sixth time winning the championship together. My goodness. January 28th, 2017, Serena defends Venus in the Australian Open, winning her 23rd Grand Slam title. Amazing. So now that I have read my nonfiction book, I am ready to go ahead and get started on my letter. As always, when I'm writing my letter, I have to um, start off with my greeting. Who is the person that I'm greeting? So dear, and then your teacher's name. So if your teacher is Miss Smith, you're gonna say dear Miss Smith. If your teacher is Mrs. Davis, you're gonna write dear Mrs. Davis. Then you have a comma after that and you go down one space. Next, you write the book you read. I read the book, and I read the book, Serena Ser no, Williams. Okay, that's the book I read. Now, the next part that you're going to include is three facts you learned in your book. Okay, so I have to go back to my book, and I have to think, what did I learn about Serena Williams? I can already say one thing I learned is that she opened two schools in Kenya. Pretty cool. Kenya is a country in Africa. So um, one fact I learned is she opened two schools in Kenya. Notice how I started my sentence. One fact I learned is, that is how you write your sentences, right? You're telling me exactly what you're, the information you're trying to tell me, that this is one of your facts, okay? So one fact I learned is, tell me your fact. Then you're gonna say, another fact I learned is, and then think about what else you have learned. I'm trying to think back, um, ooh, so she helps kids learn tennis. That's pretty interesting, is she helps kids learn tennis. Awesome. Now I need to think of one more, right? Because we have to have a total of three. I have one, I have two, and now this is my third. Notice how each fact is a sentence. 
One fact is I learned, one fact I learned is she opened two schools in Kenya. Another fact is I learned she helped kids learn to, she helps kids learn tennis. And then the last fact I learned is, and I can go back to see what else. Hmm. Ooh, sometimes she played, she played sometimes with her sister, Venus. Is she has played tennis with her sister, Venus. Awesome. Those are my three facts. And then I can end by saying from, comma, and then I have to do my signature, my name. Okay? This is how your letters should look. Make sure to turn it in. And you are done, guys. Um, I can't wait to see what books you guys are reading and the facts that you are learning.